Welcome to this uh, module of uh, uh, fire and explosion. In this module, we will study about uh, the different type of fire extinguishers. So, up till now, we have studied in the previous modules about uh, fire and explosion, different modes of heat transfer through which fire can propagate, the fire triangle, flammability characteristics, uh, what kind of uh, different type of uh, explosions uh, with their classification. We have gone through the vapor cloud explosion, Blevy, and a dust explosion. In the present module, we will study about the fire extinguisher, how we can classify the fire, and based on this particular classification, uh, what kind of different fire extinguishers are in place. See, uh, the fire is of two types, positive approach and a negative approach. So, when we are cooking food in our kitchen, that is the positive approach. But when fire adopts a destructive nature, then it is a negative approach. So, once it adopts a destructive nature, that means we need to extinguish the fire in a scientific manner. And there are different type of fire. So, you need to know that which is uh, which kind of fire it is and how to extinguish this particular fire. So, in this particular uh, uh, module, we will have a look that what kind of different fire extinguishers are there and based on the different class of fire, which kind of fire extinguisher we need to use for that particular kind of fire. Now, let us have a basic approach of fire extinguisher. A fire extinguisher is an active fire protection device used to extinguish or control small fires often in the emergency situation. Now, usually prevention is based on elimination or minimizing one of the components of a fire triangle. So, it is a rule of thumb. If you wish to produce the fire, uh, in the obviously we have discussed the fire triangle in the previous modules. So, if you wish to have a fire, then you need to have three different ingredients of fire. Fuel, you must have a source of ignition or net sustained, uh, net uh, uh, release of uh, heat and sustainability aspect and oxygen. So, if you wish to have a positive approach for fire, then you need to have all fire, uh, all arms of fire triangle intact. In the vice versa, if you wish to extinguish the fire, then you need to disable this fire triangle either by way of blanketing it, so that the supply of oxygen may be cut off or you wish to cut off the supply of fuel or you have to remove the excess amount of heat being liberated so that it cannot sustain in due course of time. So, in in a nutshell, uh, we can uh, remove, we can have uh, the fire extinguishment in three ways. One is starvation, that means you remove the supply of fuel. Another is that smoothing, that you remove uh, the supply of oxygen and then cooling, that you remove the excess amount of heat being liberated. So, remove any one of these three components, then fire cannot be sustained. Now, how we can remove these uh, arms, that is a basic scientific question. So, fire safety at its most basic is based upon the principle of keeping fuel source and ignition source separate. So, that once fire initiated, it do not propagate and if propagate, then it should be extinguished in a simpler manner. Now, three things uh, must be present at the same time to produce fire. Enough oxygen to sustain the combustion, that means one way is to remove the supply of oxygen so that it cannot, it does not meet the stoichiometric demand of that particular fuel. Enough heat to reach ignition temperature. Another way in a positive sense is that you extract the excess amount of heat being liberated in due course of combustion process, so that it cannot sustain. Fuel or combustible material, whatever is there, it should not be there, so that the fuel definitely, the fire will not be sustained. So, together, if all these things are together, then definitely they will have a chemical reaction and that is called the fire. And if it is not, then definitely the fire will be extinguished. Now, uh, let us have a look of uh, fire classification because in our day to day affair, uh, you may see that 
uh, there are different types of fire, fire through the electrical circuit, fire through the chemical runaway reaction. In a domestic approach, uh, your LPG that is purely a combustion reaction that is in the positive way. Right. So, based on this type of approach, there are various ways through which we can classify the things. Now, let us have a look of few lines that fires are classified according to the type of fuel that is burning. That is one approach to classify the fire. Now, if one use the wrong type of fire extinguisher on the wrong class of fire, one might make uh, matters worse. Like if you are in a domestic affair, if you try to, to extinguish the fire that is based on the cooking oil with the help of say water, then definitely the, the scenario would be extremely destructive. The reason is that the, uh, the oil will sputter it out. So, it may cause more danger compared to the fire. So, it is very important to understand the different classes of uh, fuel. Now, there are five different classes of uh, fire, the class A, class B, class C, class D and class K. So, the class A fire that is the ordinary combustible such as wood and paper, you can extinguish it uh, with the normal water. Class B fire, flammable and combustible liquid and gases. Class C fire, energized electrical equipments. So, you cannot use uh, um, water sprinklers, etcetera, because it will propagate the things and that the result would be more destructive. Class D fires, that is the combustible metals and class K fire, cooking oils and fats. So, most fire extinguishers will have a pictograph labeling telling you which type of fire the extinguisher is designed to fight like this. Let us have example, the simple water extinguisher might have a label like this, which means that it should be only be, be used on class A type of fire. So, you may, uh, you may see different type of uh, fire extinguisher in uh, different places uh, you visit or different industry you work upon. So, there are different classes of uh, uh, fire extinguisher, one is that class A basically attributed to cloth, wood, rubber, paper, plastic, class B gasoline, grease, oil, uh, class C electrical fires, class D combustible metals, class K that is the kitchen fires, uh, etcetera. Now, traditional lettering system uh, has been used for many years uh, that is for the labeling of fire extinguishers uh, like ordinary class A, ordinary combustible, flammable liquids class B, electrical equipment C and combustible metals D. These are the traditional one, but nowadays it has been replaced to some pictographs etcetera. So, the pictograph system which we have recently developed that is based on this type of figure. You can have a look this figure that is A class B class C K etcetera. Now, this is more easier to understand for a worker who use those who are illiterate, so that they can visualize the things based on these pictographs. So, that is why there was a need of labeling with the help of this pictograph system. Now, types of uh, extinguishers uh, basically they are classified by the way of ty uh, type of fires on which they may be used like fire extinguisher these are the pictographs used that you may find the fire extinguisher at uh, a particular place. Now, there are two main type of fire extinguisher one is based on stored pressure and cartridge operated. Now, in a stored pressure unit the expellent is uh, stored in uh, the same chamber as the fire fighting agent itself. Now, depending on the agent use, uh, the different propellant are used like nitrogen, air, etcetera. The stored pressure fire extinguishers are the most common type, even you can find it in your domestic uh, affairs plus uh, office places, uh, industry, etcetera. There are certain cartridge operated extinguishers that contains the expellent gas in a separate cartridge that is punctured prior to discharge, exposing the propellant to the ex, um, extinguishing agent. And usually this type is uh, not common, but for some specific use it is being used. The fire extinguishers, they are further divided into handled and cart mounted, also called the wheeled extingu extinguisher. Sometimes in a big establishment you will find it, these type of extinguishers. They are handheld extinguishers weight from 0.5 to 14 kilogram and uh, uh, hence uh, 
easily portable by hand so that uh, in case of zonal fire you can use those uh, handheld extinguishers even in the, the household some people they are using it. The cart mounted unit typically weigh around uh, 23 uh, kilogram and these wheeled model are most commonly found at uh, construction sites, airport runways, heliports. Uh, as well as uh, docks and marines. So, they, they are usually uh, used for the big fires and the big establishments. Now, based on this particular knowledge, we can have uh, a different type of uh, fire extinguishers to fight the different classes of fire. There are four most common type of fire extinguisher, water, APW, air pressurized water, carbon dioxide, CO2, dry chemicals, ABC, BC, DC and the wet chemicals. Now, first let us have a look of uh, uh, water or air pressurized fire extinguishers. So, usually they are large silver fire extinguishers that stand about 2 feet tall and weight about 25 pounds when they are full. As I told you earlier that a APW stands for air pressurized water. So, air is usually pressurizing the water droplet so that it can squeeze it out in a in a pressurized manner. So, uh, the, the pressure acts in a two fold. One is that it uh, promotes the, uh, the, the usual way of water to reach the fire. Another one is it promotes the, the formation of fine droplets. So, fine droplets they are having the large surface area so that the fire can be extinguished easily. The basic purpose is to extract as much as the heat you can extract from that uh, uh, the firing surfaces. So, that the one arm of uh, um, fire triangle can be eliminated in such a way that heat is uh, gone away. So, filled usually they are filled with the ordinary tap water and pressurized air. They are essentially large skilled guns. Now, uh, the APWs they extinguish fire by taking away the heat uh, element of the fire triangle because of the formation of small droplets. Now, they, these uh, air pressurized water um, extinguishers are designed for class A fires only wood that is attributed to wood paper cloth. Using water on flammable liquid fire could cause uh, the fire to spread. Using water on the electrical fire increases the risk of uh, electrocution. If you have no choice but use to use an APW on an electrical fire, make sure the electrical equipment is unplugged or de-energized. Otherwise, uh, the person who is using this uh, APW may get uh, uh, may be in, in danger. These APW will be found in older buildings, uh, particularly in public hallways uh, as well as the residence, uh, residential houses, etc. They will also be found in the computer laboratories. It is important to remember, uh, however, that uh, the computer equipment must be disconnected uh, from the electrical source before you use this AP, APW. Now, it has the advantage of being inexpensive harmless relatively easy to clean up because you are using water and normal tap water. So, they are relatively inexpensive. They are usually uh, harmless because you are not using any kind of chemical to extinguish the fire and you can easily clean up even because uh, after extinguishment uh, you are having only water. So, you can easily clean up this water. So, that is why they are having this particular advantage. It has the advantage of being inexpensive, harmless and relatively easy to clean up and disadvantage because uh, when anything is having advantage simultaneously they are having the disadvantage that they uh, the water inside within the um, fire extinguisher freezes at around uh, 32 degree Fahrenheit or 0 degree Celsius. So, you cannot use this uh, um, fire extinguisher when the temperature is at around 0, atmosphere temperature is around 0 or the uh, sub zero. Now, another disadvantage is that they load stream extinguishers, sometimes uh, wetting agent or water mist uh, can be formed. So, in other way, in the positive sense, uh, you can use certain wetting agents so that uh, the normal freezing point can be changed or a water mist. Now, um, uh, 
there is another class of uh, fire uh, extinguisher that is uh, carbon dioxide fire extinguisher and uh, usually they are denoted in uh, red color. They ranges in the size from 5 pounds to 100 pounds or larger. On larger size the horn, this is the horn uh, be at the end for a long flexible hose. The pressure uh, in a CO2 extinguisher is so great that a bit of dry ice may be shoot out uh, of the horn. So, um, sometimes they are called the dry ice extinguishers. Now, CO2 are designed for class B and class C type of fires, flammable liquid and uh, electrical sources fire. CO2 fire extinguishers will frequently be found in uh, laboratories, mechanical rooms, kitchen, flammable liquid storage arena. So, they are having the wide spectrum. So, they are applicable for class B and class C type of fire. Now, why uh, we are taking this uh, uh, CO2 fire extinguisher? Now, CO2 is a non flammable gas that takes away the oxygen element of uh, the fire triangle and without oxygen there is no fire. So, this is the plus point or this is the basic advantage of uh, this CO2 fire extinguisher. Now, CO2 is very cold as it comes out to of the extinguisher. So, it cools the fuel as well. So, you can utilize this aspect to eliminate the excess heat even you can utilize the preheating of fuel if the fire is propagating. So, it is having the multifold advantage. Now, CO2 may be ineffective in extinguishing a class A fire as it may not be able to displace enough oxygen to successfully put the fire out or the high pressure cloud of gas can scatter the burning material. Now, you can see that they are in the red color and this is this one is the horn. CO2 is not suitable for use on fires containing their own oxygen source, metal or cooking media. Although it can be rather successful on a person on fire, it should, uh, it should, uh, its use should be avoided where possible as it can cause frostbite or suffocation. So, that is why this is one of the uh, disadvantage of uh, using CO2 fire extinguisher. So, class A material may also have tendency to reignite. So, that is why um, it is again a very sensitive case. So, you be particular about uh, um, the using of the CO2 fire extinguisher in especially in class A. Now, this uh, limitation includes another there are certain limitations with the carbon dioxide fire extinguisher and these limitation includes the weight because uh, it is a bit heavy, the range because of uh, pressurized CO2 the uh, range is uh, limited, weather conditions, confined spaces and uh, suitability with different class of fire and different type of environment. The next class of uh, fire extinguisher is dry chemical ABC fire extinguishers. So, dry chemical extinguishers uh, they put out fire by coating the fuel uh, with a thin layer of uh, dust and this separates the fuel from the oxygen in the air. So, suppose you are having the fire over here this is a pool and th when you apply the, uh, the uh, dry chemical fire extinguisher then it will cardon off the things. So, it separates the fuel from the oxygen uh, in the air. So, by this way it can extinguish the fire. The powder also works to interrupt the chemical reaction of fire and these extinguishers are very effective at putting out fire. Now, ABC they are uh, filled with a fine yellow powder. Uh, the greatest portion of uh, this powder is composed of uh, mono ammonium phosphate and uh, these extinguishers are pressurized with the help of uh, inert nitrogen. So, they are usually like this the anatomy of uh, these fire extinguishers like this they are fine uh, powder and they are supported with uh, this nitro nitrogen and here is the pressure gauge and it may, uh, may have a uh, hose or um, horn etcetera that depends on the, the uh, situation. So, usually uh, the color code for these uh, ABC type of fire extinguisher are red. 
Now, uh, these uh, dry chemical extinguishers, uh, they come in a variety of uh, types and you may see uh, the different type of label in these uh, uh, dry chemical fire extinguisher. One class is uh, the DC that is uh, stands for dry chemical. Another is ABC it can be used for class A, class B and a class C of uh, fire. BC that is designed for the use in class B and class C of fire. So, it can have a variety of uh, uh, classes. Now, it is extremely important to identify which type of dry chemical extinguishers are located in your area or at your workplace. So, that in case of a fire, you can use the appropriate type of fire extinguisher. An ABC extinguisher will have a label like this that indicating it may be used for A, B or a C class of a fire. You do not want to mistakenly use a BC extinguisher on a class A fire thinking that it was an ABC extinguisher. So, do not be get confused. You have to use the appropriate type of fire extinguisher for the, the fire in question. Now, dry chemical extinguishers with powder design of class B and C fires may be located in place such as a commercial kitchen and an area where uh, you may have a flammable liquids, etc., some industrial uh, locations uh, and so on and so on. Now, uh, the additives, you may use a different uh, additives to prevent the packing and the caking. Uh, sometimes uh, they may form a lump if they are rose. That is why you may observe that uh, some of the fire extinguishers, they do have some uh, expiry dates. Now, disadvantage of uh, these uh, dry chemical extinguishers are the, uh, the chemicals which are used in the dry chemical extinguishers, they are corrosive in nature. And the primary compounds which are used in the dry chemicals are sodium bicarbonate, potassium bicarbonate, sometimes urea based potassium carbonate, potassium chloride, ammonium phosphates, etc. So, in this particular module, we have studied three different types of fire extinguishers and before study of this different type of fire extinguishers, we have classified the fire. and based on this classification, we have gone through three different type of fire extinguishers, APW, dry chemical and CO2 type of. Subsequent module, we have other type of fire extinguisher along with the methodology and anatomy of and how to use those fire extinguishers. Thank you very much.